with surveys. So for like the first 20 minutes, you're going to do, you're going to describe the relationship between the career, your career path that you want and the, in, and the earning income. Because some of these earning incomes of a career path are really, most, of, most people choose these career paths because of money. And when they find out that money isn't all money, yes, the money is great. But when they find out the hard work that's put into these things, most people back up, back off from it. For biology, if you have a BS in bio, you take the RN exams and RN makes at least... 80 84 to 80 to 90,000 a year that's their yearly income a phd gives you a little bit more of 100 to 150 so that's the that's the kind of information that is needed for someone to look at when they're doing their career building you have to look at every little small detail when you are thinking about your career then to explain you need to have different types of education and training you have a bachelor's the bachelor's yeah that's great but most places require a master's and a phd master's and phd gets gets you a little more higher pay so doing your basic research and information on that is very very necessary when choosing these careers because you choose these careers without thinking or going on to going on to everything and then you just feel like the whole world is caving in on you that's what happens when you choose these careers without thinking identifying activities and stuff that you are doing now as a junior high school student or a high school student that is helping you to build towards your career path. There are many things in in middle school and high school that you can engage into that will help you build your career path. Clubs, the math, the math club, your strength in math, your strength in English, your strength in every little subject is how it helps you to formulate your career plan and your career path nothing you do in school is is unnecessary don't let anybody tell you that because everything come back to help you out for your career path mapping out your personal strengths and interests you have everybody has a strength and a weak a weakness and these are things you have to do to enhance your knowledge on how your career path is going to go Based on each of the qualities, you're going to choose your specific career career path and have just do your basic research on it. That's what I did. Because when I had to change my biology major, I was like, this is crazy. I have interesting. I did my internship this year. It's quite amazing. Some of the stuff that I learned, thanks to my advisor and my supervisor at Kings County Hospital, it's been a wonderful journey so that's something that you guys can do as well internships at a young age they do give kids internships and after that you're gonna discuss and evaluate yourself is this for me is this career path something i want to choose is it something i want to do is it something i'm going to see myself six or seven years down from in the future is this for me so when having a career lesson plan career building um mindset you need to think about all those things so i have a i have an aptitude survey that i'm going to turn my camera around it helps to give you all the information you need everything you need to research on and if you ever have if you ever feel like you're stuck and want to come to me about it 
hit it. We have our whole Instagram page. Ask me all the questions there. We can always talk about what what your career path is and what you want it to be. So yeah, that's my lesson for career career building. So thank you.